Well, I want to solve the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x squared. So sine of x squared, well, x squared is going to be positive when x is not equal to 0. So if when x is not equal to 0, sine is going to be 1. It's going to be 0 when x is equal to 0. So it's never going to be negative. So when I'm looking at this limit, I want to approach this limit from the left and from the right. So in both cases, sine of x squared is positive. right? Because if I look at it from the left here, it's positive. Therefore, it's positive 1. And then from the right, it's positive. So this should also be positive 1. So the left hand and the right hand limits are the same. Therefore, we say the limit is 1. Now, what happens if the left hand and the right hand are not the same? So for this example, we'll be looking at uh, sine of x cubed. So it's going to look something like this. We're going to be considering the left hand and the right hand again. So to the left of 0, I'm over here, it's negative. So the sign is going to be negative 1. And to the right, it's positive. So the sign is going to be positive 1. Because the left hand and the right hand limits don't agree, we say that the limit does not exist. Okay, for next example, I'm going to look at the square, but this time I'm going to square the sine. Okay, so it might be better if I vector out the square like this. And as x approaches 0, well, I'm going to consider the left hand and the right hand limit. The left hand limit is negative, right? Because, you know, x is negative when x is less than 0. So this will just be negative 1 squared, which is positive 1. And from the right, it's positive. So it should be positive 1. Either way, left hand and right hand limit, you get positive 1. So your limit is also 1. Okay, now since we're introducing exponents, what if you have sine as an exponent? So we'll have sine of x raised to the sine of x. Okay, the process is still the same. Let's approach it from the zero from zero from the left, and let's approach it from the right. So by now we know what each value is. So x from the left is negative, so it should be negative one raised to the negative one power. Okay, so because these guys are the same you should get the same number. And from the right of 0, it's going to be positive, so the sign is positive 1. So you should get 1 here and negative 1 here. So because the left hand and the right hand limit are not the same, we say that the limit does not exist. And next we'll be looking at natural log so we'll have the sine of natural log of x and here it really makes sense to approach it from the right because the domain is defined to be um, x greater than zero 
So if I was looking at approaching it from the right of zero, clearly that is negative. So the sine, this thing is negative, so this is going to be negative one. Like right, a sine, if sine is negative, it's going to be zero. It's going to be negative one. Sorry. All right. So we're in this camp over here. Since it's negative, we're going to get negative one as our answer. All right. We did ln of x. Now let's do e to the x. Say limit as x approaches zero of e to the sine of x. One thing about, um, well, actually, no. Let's try this. So we want to approach it from the left and the right. So sine of x from the left. So that one's going to be negative, right? So this will be negative 1. And from the right, it's positive. So I'm going to say positive 1. Because the left hand and the right hand limits do not agree, we say that the limit does not exist. What if instead I said limit as x approaches 0 of e to the absolute value of sine of x? Okay, so does that change things? Well, when I'm looking at the left-hand limit, I'll be really taking the absolute value of negative 1. So that would just be e. And then from the right, if I take the absolute value of 1, it's just 1, right? So we get e. So that would change my answer and make the limit equal to e. So just by putting the absolute value. Now let's reverse it. Let's take e and sine of x and flip them. So let's have them switch spots. So I have x approaching 0, sine of x raised to the e to the x power. Okay. So let's see. We have x approaching 0 from the left. right okay sine of x is negative when x is approaching 0 from the left so we say negative 1 e to the 0 is just 1 so this is just negative 1 and then sine of 0 from the right well that's positive so we'll say it's positive 1, and then e to the 0 is 1. So my limit is 1 here. And because the left hand and the right hand limit do not agree, we say that the limit does not exist.